Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Infrastructure Machine Expert Basic Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can read or write variables, load variables out on the network using the IO scanner of the PLC. So let's go to the presentation. So recently I received a few questions that I have a, a device that I have, for example, the temperature, and it's not an integer, it's a float real variable that is a 32 bits how i can do that on the plc so uh, let's explain a little bit how this works so imagine that i have a device x and i need to read or write a variable 32 bits so we know that a real variable is a 32 bits okay 32 bits and if we divide the 32 bits in two, we have two words of 16 bits. So the idea here is to read two consecutive words on that device first. So if we configure the AS scanner, we are gonna have the IWN word one or two for the low and high. And if you want to write, we're gonna have the same way, word one and word two. One thing that we need to be careful here is that sometimes we swap so we need to check if it's going to be high, low, and low, like high. But that's one thing. So imagine that you want to share this with an Escada. Then what you need to check is, okay, I'm going to move this into a percentage MW variables. As the MWs and MF for float are in the same space, we can read it. So the important thing here is to read and write the bits. Then the PLC will do the rest in order to interpret or read the, the variable that we want. Okay. At the end, they're gonna be reading and writing bits. That's the important thing. And then the PLC will understand the format for us. So we need to be careful of that. So what I have done here, I have this PLC that I have reading the temperature. Okay, this R10 room is 23.2 and is in this position this one 9500 so i got the m to one already connected here let's go here m to one so i have already configured this part now i'm going to enable the tcp ip there is uh, another video of how to do this and i'm going to explain it again but uh, okay there's nothing here here in the channel need to add that variable so it's going to be uh dump configure i'm going to read multiple words offset is going to be i think i need to add one let's check uh, Okay, let's read first the analog variable to see if I wrong. Because sometimes you just need to add one or subtract one, and I don't remember in this case what I have done. Use let's read this eight three three six. So I caught feeling I need to add one. Subtract so one. Don't remember right now. Eight three three five. Apply. Login. This is just a test to to know the if I read in the right position. That's something that probably you need to test. Uh, trying to use a word variable because you don't know if you are reading the right variable. So in order to avoid that, let's read something that is. In a word, that's going to be easy for you to read. Only just one to see if you are pointing to the right register. Okay, and play. So, programming tools, and animation table. I don't remember what I have done here. So let's delete all this. So, um, are your objects not network net? Another option we have input register and 
the output register. In this case, I use input, so it's going to be the IWEM300 and it's that temperature. So let's try to use that one. Percentage IWEM3, that one is OK. And a reading 232, which is the actual temperature. So I need to subtract one. So this is a good way to check if you are reading or writing the right information. So now that we already know which is the address, how it works, now I can try to read the real variable. So over here, temperature. I told you that the original is 9,500. So I need to subtract this 1,499. And the length is going to be 2. OK. So now. Let's see which variables are using here in this code. It's a long time ago. Let's try to use these two MW. So, task POU, POC, floats. So, I need to move these two new positions and we use 10 equals and equals percentage and do we use n3.0 okay and I need to move this one over here so we So, as I don't know if they are going to be swapped, what I'm going to do is to test this. So, the next position is 1. I'm going to put it on the end of view 11. This one I'm going to put it on the 13. And this one in the 12. So, I'm going to check which one is the one that is using. Okay. Now, if I go to tools, animation table, let's add this one percentage uh, and top of percentage and we use 10, 11. I'm going to use MF 10 and we use 12, 13 and MF. So the idea is I have the two words and I have memory words. So I, if I don't know if the PLC is going to solve that information, what I'm going to do is to test. So I'm going to put it astray and the other one I'm going to swap it. Okay, and then I'm going to read the percentage MF as indicated in here. Okay, in this presentation. So uh, let's go up here. Here, login and then download to the controller. Loading, come step. start okay programming and here you can see that i'm reading data so in this case i don't need to swap them okay because it just goes straight and you can see here and read it 23.2 so it doesn't matter uh, if i need to use something different i just need to read the bits and then the pills is going to know what's in there okay it's like reading a different language the PLC knows. So uh, as you can see here, I'm reading these variables and put in the percentage NW and using the percentage MF because they share the same area. Okay, the bits is going to be located in that position. So there is no need to, to worry about it. Um, and here you can see that I swap them and the number it does doesn't make sense. So let's try to check on the PLC on this one. 
23.3 and then reading 23.3 okay uh, let me just when I touch the door it's not this one the other one okay there we go as you can see in there is changing it's an actual sense of this one so um this is how you can read real variables on the network using the io scanner in this case but it can be applied for the io scanner for model tcp model serial you just need to read the registers uh the two consecutive registers that you have for the 32 bits and then the plc you just need to assign to a percentage nw those bits and then read the on the plc the percentage mf that are aligned with those mws that we have and that should be so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one